After weeks of negotiations, White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows put forward a $1.3 trillion offer for a coronavirus aid bill, which he said President Donald Trump is willing to sign. But House Speaker Nancy Pelosi on Friday said that amount is not enough to meet the needs of Americans. Trump replied, saying Pelosi was only interested in bailing out states run by Democrats, casting doubt on chances of reviving stalled aid talks. Meadows on Friday reiterated that negotiations are at an impasse. Wouldn't $1.3 trillion of aid uh, that goes largely to this, to agreed upon and shared goals of, of helping people that are hurting the most, 1.3, which is more than the aid that we sent during the 2008 uh, meltdown, $1.3 trillion of aid she said no to. She would rather have zero and keep it at 2.2. Pelosi said Republicans are, quote, rejecting the funding needed for testing and tracing to crush the virus and safely reopen schools and the economy. She said she hoped the Republicans would accept Thursday's Democratic offer for $2.2 trillion in aid and resume negotiations. This coming months after the Democratic-led House passed a $3.4 trillion coronavirus relief bill, which was not taken up by the Republican-led Senate.